Hi, Cancer. It's me, G1 Rider with G1 Insights. And this month is all about transformation for you, um, allowing yourself to think positive, okay? So, Cancer, this is for Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is a general message, okay? So, please do check your birth chart just for any extra clarity, anything that you may be missing. Or if something doesn't really resonate with you here, then I would definitely recommend that you check your sun, moon, and rising as well, okay? Or even perhaps your Venus, all right? So let's get into this, Cancer. So it seems like this is going to be a really good month for you in regards to reconnection or just simply connecting with people, okay? So this could be at work or at home, family, friendships partnerships this is all about um getting in touch with resources okay um even just simply networking exchanging phone numbers going to seminars going to different meetings perhaps i feel like perhaps you may even need to do some extra uh research okay like if some i'm sorry guys so I feel like you need to do some extra research as well. Like if someone is telling you some information and it sounds like it's too good to be true, then most likely it probably is. So please do your research. Double check everything before you sign any type of contract or anything. Make sure you double check everything, okay? So especially because I feel like for a lot of you, this could be in regards to your home environment or this could be in regards to your finances. So, of course, anything dealing with something that personal to you, you want to make sure that, to, that you double check everything, okay? But on the flip side, I do feel like there is some type of difficulty that you may be dealing with at this moment. Um... And for each and every one of you, of course, the energy is different. For some of you, it could be in your home environment. For some of you, it could be financially. Whatever the case is, I feel like, you know, this is not the end of the road. Like, you are deeply connected to a lot of resources this season. And, of course, it's up to you, Cancer, to take advantage of it. It's up to you to utilize what you have in front of you. If someone has given you information and you have not yet checked it out, then whose fault is that? Right? So double check and make sure you go back. Ask questions. Um, reach out to someone. If someone says, you know, that they feel like they can help you or be of assistance to you, don't allow pride to interfere with that, okay? Understand that, you know, everybody go through things, okay? And I feel like you may, especially at the beginning of June, or at least by the second week of June, a lot of you are going to be meeting some new people anyway, or at least interacting with people who kind of know a lot of important things. Perhaps you may even bump into another woman. If you are a cancer woman, you may bump into a cancer woman. Um, and I feel like this person has really, really dark hair. Um, she can have really, really dark hair, like maybe like like this, like a dark brownish or like a black or even grayish perhaps. Um, but this woman, um, she knows things and she's very resourceful. Um, maybe you always see her at work and maybe she's always focused and maybe always direct. Um, maybe this is a person that you just know personally and she's, um, maybe this person really knows their way around how to get their finances in order or how to even um, save money. Perhaps they even have different ideas on a housing situation that, you know, that you may feel like, look, I need help. I'm going to start opening up and talking to some people. I'm going to start socializing. I'm going to start, you know, going to the library or I'm going to start going to um, these seminar meetings that they have in like about credit repair or about finances or about, you know, just about housing or something in that nature. I just feel like I just see you guys interacting with people a lot this season because you don't want to stay stuck in a situation forever. Like whatever it is that you are dealing with, um, you're not going to be in a situation forever anyway. Nothing is basically forever so you're definitely in the right place mentally um, and emotionally so allow the universe to bless you with those connections so don't forget to exchange phone numbers go out with this person get to know this person I mean you don't have to be buddy buddy right but at least get to know this person enough so that way when they are presenting you with something you know who you're dealing with okay I mean to me it just seems like the right thing to do 
okay? But also, just again, just kind of pay attention to what someone is telling you. You may want to write things down. You may want to um, take notes. You may want to um, even start emailing people. This is going to be a very good season. The reason why is because we got through the first six months of the year. So this is really good. This is really a time for celebration. So if you have not really had the time recently to really get out and celebrate and to kind of just enjoy life, it doesn't mean that life is over. You can't be in love and you can't, you know, have fun. You can, okay? It's just that some things, like anything in life, just had to take a back seat for a while. But trust me, by the end of June, the sun will be in your sign, so you will be feeling a little better, okay? Confidence will return. Happiness will return. Connections will be rebuilt. So don't worry too much about the, you know, anything negative that someone has to say to you or if someone has been really shifty or really mean or saying really hurtful things to you lately, just try your best to just ignore it. Um, I feel like a lot of you are going through a lot of that right now. A lot of the he say, she say, a lot of back and forth. Um, this could even be, like I said, for a lot of you, I feel like it's something dealing with your finances or your career. It's something dealing with money for a lot of you. Um, yeah, so again, just kind of stay away from gossip of any kind, anybody, any type of gossip, okay? Try your best to stay away from it. Like, if it's not going to elevate you or help you really grow in your field, then it's like, what's the point, okay? Um, you may need help when it comes to your children or when it comes to... Um, how to rebuild your creativity, how to start your own business, whatever it is. You'll be surprised, Cancer, who you will actually run into who may have good quality resources for you. So again, I mean, not to repeat myself over and over, but just please try your best to be as receptive as possible this season, okay? Um, you don't want to block out any blessing that could potentially change your life because I do sense a good amount of um, transformation for you and clarity. So around the 21st of the month, you know, of course, the sun will be in your sign, but then it's summertime here in the state. So this is going to be amazing, okay? And then, of course, at the beginning of June, we had the Gemini new moon, and then we're going to be dealing with that Sagittarius full moon. So it's just a lot of, like, whack energy at the beginning of June. So just be patient with the process. Be patient with yourself. I've been telling every last one of us that because we all will need a little bit of patience I'm um, dealing with that Gemini energy at the very beginning of June, okay? But I promise you guys, going in towards the second or third week of the month, things will wake up. Like, things will begin to change. Your energy will begin to shift. Connections get deeper. Fun times begin to roll in. And again, for each and every one of you, it's going to happen at different times and different moments and different ways. For some of you, it might happen in love. For some of you, it might happen with a friendship. You may just found yourself a really new good friend, you know, and that's always good. It's always good to get out and mingle and meet new people, whether it's a friendship or whether it's a partnership. It doesn't matter, right? It's just always a really good thing to get out and meet new people and to show that really fun, uh, sexy, sweet side to yourself. You know, I feel like there's things about you that people don't really get to see. There's a, uh, energy about you that you carry that people don't really get to see that much. And I think it's because you have so many different things on your mind. And the more you um, loosen up a little bit and bring and allow love to into your life, the better you will be, okay? And I don't mean just romance. I mean love on every level. Like, love and family, partnerships. Like, you can still love your business partners. You get what I'm saying? Like, you can still have love for your siblings or for your parents. Like, you can still spread love and light this season. And I really recommend that you do that, Cancer, because the more you pour out that love, the more it's going to come to you. Overall, just to kind of sum all of this up, there's a really bright future here. There's a great potential for happiness, some type of celebration of some sort. Um... For some of you, there's a chance of fertility here. There's a chance of love happening. So, I mean, again, just kind of be a bit open-minded this season, okay? 
And for a lot of you, I just want you guys to stop worrying. Don't worry so much, okay? Just allow the universe to take its course. I promise you, the more you just relax and learn to spread that love and light, it's going to come right back at you. There's nothing that you want to do to season cancer that you will not be able to do unless you stop yourself. And the way that you're going to stop yourself is if you are not allowing yourself to be receptive to all the great energy that is coming to you. So do your best and just try your best to be as open as possible, as as loving as possible because we know that you have it in you cancer we know that you have it in you yet you prefer to just be sometimes a bit i mean you're naturally moody anyway right but people that know and love you don't really complain about that too much i feel like you just need to just open up a bit more you know have fun don't be so cranky about every little thing you know have fun Every little thing doesn't need an argument. Every little thing doesn't need you to yell. Every little thing doesn't need you to be stressing. You know, get out and have fun. Get back in touch with your old roots. Get back in touch with family you haven't seen in a while. Get back in touch with old friends. Or perhaps if you just want to leave everything behind and move on with something fresh and brand new, then get out and mingle. It's simple. Get up, get dressed. It doesn't matter what day of the week it is. Get up, get dressed, put on your best face, do your hair really nice. You know how you are. You love to dress, and you love to smell good, and you love to look good. So what's the problem? Go out and have fun, Cancer. That is my overall advice for you today. I feel like your reading was dead on, straight to the point. So enjoy yourself. Okay, allow that new love to come into your life. Don't be so standoffish, okay? Um, allow clarity to come to you, but it's going to happen anyway, all right? So give it at least to about the second or third week of June, and you'll begin to see a lot of changes, okay? I promise you. So guys, please like and share this message around the world because everyone needs to hear this message. Thank you for tuning in. Please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you would like a personal reading from me of course just visit my website g1insights.org it will be posted below or attached to the video okay love you bye bye